Sister Victory Act Jackba. Book of Life, John Wesley's Mansion, Abandoned Houses in Heaven. It happened that in the month of February 2013, my husband and I went to the mountain to pray and seek the face of the Lord. We were fasting for 21 days. It was a certain Thursday after the night. Prayer. In fact, after we finished praying at 8 a.m. I and my two children went to sleep in the bedroom. I was sleeping on the floor, my children were trying to sleep when suddenly a pillar of burning fire appeared around the place where we were sleeping, and smoke was entering the bedroom. I got scared and I wonder what was happening. And I said to myself, I must shout for help. My children noticed that I was panicking and they asked, Mom, what is wrong? They said, Come to sleep with us. I managed to calm them and they slept. Then suddenly the smoke filled the room. I could not see the wall anymore. I wanted to shout for help, but I could not open my mouth. I tried hard to shout, but I could not. Suddenly I saw two angels with wings landing in the bedroom. They looked at me. Then they went towards the children. They went to get my children into a deep sleep as we had to travel. After checking my children, they came back to me. They said, Victory, rise up. We must go. Then I stood up. But when I stood up, I realized that I became two. My body was still sleeping. While I was also standing, the two angels held me in my hand and they took me outside the bedroom to the temple where I and my husband were fasting and praying. I noticed that the temple was full of angels. They were praising God and there was a particular presence of God. Powerful anointing and energy were released during this angelic praise. I then joined the angels in worship. We were joyfully singing to the Lord when the two angels came and said to me, Victory, you have to come with us. Time is running out, we have to go. They took me out of the temple and suddenly we were on a path. It was a little path. I noticed that this path was illuminated by light from a torch that was placed alongside the path. One of the two angels said, Victory, fear not. We are near the gate of the kingdom of heaven. Then I asked the two angels, Where are my children? I don't see them anymore. I will not follow you unless I see them. The angel said, We must fulfill the assignment given to us by the Lord otherwise there will be a problem in heaven. After a few minutes of walking, we finally arrived. We reached the gate of heaven. It was beyond awesome. It was magnificent. I always look for a place on earth to compare with this beauty but I never found. I could not imagine a place like this on earth. The two angels leading me said, We are going to visit the city and the twelve gates of the celestial kingdom. Beloved, let me tell you, we have an eternal city built for us by the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible said that the city has twelve gates in heaven. Each of the gates has three doors. At each of these twelve gates, there were two angels guarding. When we reached the gate, two angels guarding the Golden Gate opened it for us. When we entered, I saw four angels at the second door of this Golden Gate. Two of the four angels were on the left. They had two massive books. The duty of the first angel was to write and record things in his book. And the duty of the second angel was to erase names in his book. I asked the two angels with me, what are these angels writing and erasing? I was told that the first angel is writing the names of the people who were sinners, but after receiving the gospel, they confessed their sin and obtained forgiveness. As a result, their names are recorded in this book by the angel. I was told that when a Christian commits a sin when he becomes convicted of his sin and confessed it, then his name will be written again in this book after being erased because of that sin. It is written in Luke 10:20. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you. But rejoice that your names are written in heaven. 
I was told that the second angel was erasing the names of believers who have failed to confess their sin. Then I saw a copy of the Ten Commandments around the other two angels. They were positioned on the right of the door. When a saint enters the gate of the celestial kingdom, he will come face to face with this roll of Ten Commandments. The Spirit of God will certify to him that he kept the commandments of God and he is worthy to enter the celestial city. You will know whether you are worthy or not because the Spirit of God will convict you. Finally, the third door of this gate was opened. I heard the voices of people singing songs of praise. When I heard this song, the angel, and I continued to advance. Then I saw the angels of the Lord flying with their wings deployed. I saw many angels flying. They were landing around us. In fact, they were encircling and kneeling in front of us. They covered their face with their wings and they stayed in this position for thirty minutes. I could not understand what was happening. Then suddenly they flew away. I came to realize that I was inside the gates of heaven, and I was dressed in a white and shining garment. I was like a child in a new world, a new reality. My soul was full of joy. I was refreshed and invigorated, I forgot about the misery of the earth, the heat of the sun, I forgot about evil. I did not know hate or evil. The corrupt Adamic nature of sin was removed from me. There was no slightest idea or thought of evil in me. I was overwhelmed with joy. My soul was filled with constant worship in me, and I was glorifying the Lord. I was jumping enjoying the company of Angels. Praise the Lord. Then I saw the throne of Jesus Christ and its glory. The floor of this city was made of pure gold. When I was walking on that gold, I could see my face on the ground like in a mirror. I was so in rapture with joy that I told the two angels who brought me that I don't want to return to earth. The two angels said to me, We just brought you so that you can see and testify to others on the earth. I insisted that I am not going back to earth. Then the two angels told me to follow them, which I did. Then I saw a golden table. It was so huge and so long that I could not see the end of it. I saw chairs adorned with gold and crystal, they were aligned alongside the unending table. I saw different utensils that were sparkling and shining brightly on the table. I asked the angel, What is this place? The angel replied, If the trumpet were to be sounded on earth today, people who are ready will be raptured and they will be received in this place. It is written in Rev 19 7 Let us be glad and rejoice and we will give glory to him. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife has prepared herself. 8 And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean, and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. 9 And he said to me, Right, blessed are those who have been called to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, These are the true sayings of God. The Bible said that there are four living creatures in front of the throne. When I saw the four living creatures, I was scared. They all had six wings and their faces were terrifying. The first had the eagle face. The second had the face of a lion. The third had the face of a lamb. The fourth had the face of a man. These four beings were not relaxed. They look intense, powerful, and scary. They covered their feet with two wings. They covered their body with two wings and they covered their face with two wings. It is when they saw us coming that they removed their wings from their faces. I saw the twenty-four elders that sit around the throne of the Lamb that was full of glory. I could not stare at the throne of Jesus because of the power and glory that was immense. A voice sounding from the throne and said, Victory you are welcome to heaven. The voice was so thunderous and powerful that even if an earthly man were to hear it on the earth he will collapse in a coma. Then the Lord Jesus Christ addressed his angels. He said, Show my servant victory. They 
reception and welcoming ceremony of my servants who lived an upright life in the truth and has worked for my kingdom. Show her how we receive them and how important they are to me. Immediately I saw angels sounding their trumpet. They were standing in line and they deployed their wings. They were holding their swords and playing their harps. There were songs of praise. In honor of the servant of God that has arrived in heaven. It was wonderful. This was the welcoming ceremony of a man of God in heaven. Jesus said, Victory, do you see how I welcome my servants? Go and inform them so that they may know how valuable they are to me. Then I said in my heart, There is so much evil in the world. How can I tell them about all this? Jesus read my mind and said, Victory, go tell them because I have overcome the world. Go in. My name. Then the Lord Jesus said to me, You are an evangelist and you will go tell the whole world what you have seen here. You will intercede for pastors. This is your mission on earth. Go and tell the church about repentance, sincere repentance, tell them about holiness. Tell them about justice. Tell them about faithfulness. Tell them about the truth. Tell them about compassion. Without these things, they will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Tell them to take time to worship and adore me. I dwell in the midst of their praise and worship. I work in their praise and worship. They must learn to live a lifestyle of worship. I was around the throne of the Lamb when he ordered his angels to transport me to visit his servant Michael. Beloved, when we arrived in the command base of the army of heaven, I saw the archangel Michael. I was in terror. Actually, he is bigger than the building of our church. The premise of our church is not enough to contain this archangel, it is little for him to even stand here. His legs and his arms are like pillars of a huge building. His sword is huge and longer than you can imagine. Michael is terrifying. He is powerful and huge. People don't know this archangel. I always said that. He should have been called Michael the Great and the Powerful. When you encounter one of the angel members of his armed forces you will be blown away. They are imperial, majestic, and powerful. You may confuse them with Jesus because of the power and energy emanating from them. They are impressive and they have an intimidating aspect. The sublime heavenly army led by the Archangel Michael is imposing and mind-blowing and phenomenal. You will be overwhelmed in wonder and amazement in their presence. After encountering the magnificent army of heaven, I was led to visit the patriarchs and the elders of ancient Israel. I saw Abraham and the ancient patriarchs. They were dressed in white garments, and they had white beards descending and reaching their chests. It was really beautiful. The angel of the Lord said to me, those who will make their garments white will have access to the eternal glory. They shall sit on the table with the great and they will have the opportunity to greet them. It is written in Matthew 8:11, and I say to you, that many shall come from the east and west, and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, in the kingdom of heaven. Beloved, I saw Jesus sitting on his throne, he was intensely angry, the cup of iniquity of the world is overflowing. Jesus was extremely angry. Some people think that they can get angry but Jesus can get extremely angry, and I beheld Jesus in anger, you will not recognize him. Jesus is love, but he is also just, his anger was so intense that I saw the twenty-four elders standing from their thrones and they were begging him. The four living creatures deployed their wings together with the elders. They were all begging the Lord. I was trembling because I could not sustain the anger of the Lord Jesus Christ. It was thanks to the wings of one of the living creatures who supported me that I was able to stand. There were fire and smoke around the throne. It was terror. I had the impression that the whole of heaven was trembling and in tremor. It was an incredible terror. Then the Lord spoke and said, 
my angels have shown you things and you will go tell the church. It is important because my children are valuable to me. Afterward, the two angels asked me to follow them. We continued our visit to the celestial kingdom. I saw building structures and houses. We went to a particular house and we opened the door. A woman came out of it with joy. I asked the angel, who is this joyful woman? The angel said, this woman was doing business when she was on the earth, and she was using her personal money to help the poor, the orphans, and the widows. She did that until her death end. This big palace here belonged to her. It is her reward. When we entered her house, I saw many diplomas and certificates of her good deeds on the wall of her bedroom. These qualifications were the testimony of her good deeds on earth. Some of them were written on the board in a special room. When I entered that room, I was so joyful that I wanted to sit on our furniture, but the angel told me that I can't because it was private property. It does not belong to me, he even forbade me from touching the wall. He said, everything is in order here in heaven. You do not touch what does not belong to you. When we went out of that house, then we entered another building. A child came out with joy. The angel told me that the child is still alive on earth. He is not dead. His soul is joyful. And this is only the manifestation of the condition of his spirit. The angel said that the child is only eight years old on earth, but he is evangelizing. I asked the angel, how come this eight-year-old child is evangelizing? How does he do it? The angel replied, he distributes leaflets on earth. He goes to the street and gives people leaflets saying, receive the word from heaven. Every time he gives someone a leaflet, he would say, receive the word from heaven. The angel said, the way the child started his life on earth is surely the way he will finish it. I noticed that the many houses built on earth are different from heavenly construction. In heaven, you don't see or distinguish the foundation of the building with the remaining building. As we were moving the angel opened the gate of another house. I could read the name of the owner of this property because it was written in front of the gate. Actually, it was written, John Wesley. I asked the angel, was this man a pastor? The angel said, yes, the man was a pastor on earth. We got into his house. I noticed that John Wesley's bedroom was full of testimonies of his deeds. On earth. There were a lot of certificates and qualifications for good deeds. The angel said, this man did a lot of good deeds. Every time John was winning souls, he was meeting the needs of the people he was winning. He was feeding these souls. He knew how to take care of the souls he was winning. John Wesley was teaching people the authentic word of God. And every time he sees people in physical needs, he will provide financially and physically for them. If any of his members want to travel for the gospel, he would use his own money to finance their missionary journeys. The Lord Jesus was so moved by John Wesley's good deeds that he sent more angels to support him so that he can fulfill his vow of evangelism and charity up to the end of his life. Thank God! John Wesley was consistent until the end of his life. After his death, the angels took him to heaven, and the reward of his deeds is this massive building you are seeing. The angels of the Lord said, Go tell the church to return to the old message of sanctification and holiness preached by John otherwise they are not entering heaven. The angels of the Lord said to me, John Wesley was preaching holiness when he was on the earth but when he died, Methodist Christians were in confusion. As a result, they adopted worldly ways of doing things. Tell them to return to the message of holiness and sanctification. I asked the angel, how many certificates of good deeds are we supposed to have? The angel said, it is up to you to have them in great number. The angel said, when you return to earth, do good deeds, be compassionate, assist others. Stand up for those in need and when you die, 
your actions will be a testimony in heaven. Afterward, we went to another building. I noticed that there was no electrical installation in these houses, but the walls of these houses were emitting light by themselves. The angel said, this house belonged to an evangelist. He is still on earth. When he dies, then he will partake this house. We saw an empty house that was a bit abandoned. The angel said, this house belongs to an evangelist but he is no longer evangelizing because he has become weak. But when he sees someone in need, he is eager to help the person. I saw another abandoned house in heaven. The angel of the Lord told me, it is the house of a woman that is still on the earth. She used to help people and pastors, but she gave up doing that. And she began to brag and boast about her deeds. That is why her house in heaven is in this condition. Then I asked the angel by my side to show me my house. He replied, it is not allowed. But I insisted. He said again, it is not allowed. Then I said, you have to allow me to see my house. Then the angel took me to my house. It was not completed yet. But it was two bedroom. There were two certificates in the bedroom. There was one certificate of the deeds of love that I was practicing and another certificate of deeds of compassion that I was also practicing on the earth. There was no qualification for praise and worship. Afterward, the angel took me back around the throne of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said that today pastors are taking his glory of the time he healed the sick on the earth. People would say that this and that pastor has healed this or that person instead of saying that Jesus has healed the person through a man of God. Then Jesus showed me a church. It was a great church well constructed. It had many levels. Jesus said that the pastor of that church is getting more glory than him because of the many miracles he is performing through that pastor. He said to me, Tell my servants, I do not know many of them in heaven. They must repent from their sins. If they fail to do so I will reject them. The Lord said to me, Victory, it is time for you to go back to earth. Immediately I saw the angels surrounding me and they covered me with their wings for a time. Then they departed. The Lord said to me, Victory, you can go now. I have given you power, no evil will befall you. There shall be persecution, but I have given you the power to heal. Then an angel came and took me for a walk in the city and in a moment I returned to my body. I was weak when I woke up. HTTPS slash slash spirit reports dot blogspot dot com slash 2020 slash 07 slash sister. Victory Act Jackpa dot HTML